Change of plans. I just tried to buy tickets at the lobby of the Swan for the Halloween party tonight and it is sold out. Can you believe it? It's September and the Halloween party sold out. Disney, you are making money hand over fist. Look on the bright side. It's gonna be packed there. So it's gonna be Epcot for the entire day. More food and wine festival coming up. Okay, so I got my laundry done, worked out, came back to the room, showered. Oh, and the shower was amazing. I have to show you the shower before I go out. And that shower head thing, you know many a woman has used that for things other than cleaning herself. That shower is orgasmic. All right, I'm gonna go out to the parks now because I'm getting a little crazy in here, bye. Heading back into Epcot. Okay, trying the mussels first. Breadcrumbs and butter it tastes like. Nice flavor, I like it. A little bit chewy, but the mussels are kind of chewy. What can you do? Okay, the venison sausage with the pickled mushrooms, baby arugula, and black currant reduction. Black currant reduction really adds a nice sweetness to the saltiness of the sausage. The flavors really complement each other. Out of the park, New Zealand, that's the one to get. I didn't get the meatballs, but these two choices were really good. The venison sausage is definitely better than the mussels. The spicy tuna hand roll was really delicious. I mean, it's a pretty basic thing, but the way that they prepared it, the sauce is really good. So I would go back and get that again. The uh, yuki tofu was really good too, but the, what they're calling grilled vegetables looks pretty much like um, frozen vegetables out of a bag. But I ate them because I need my vegetables. The tofu was really good. And the hand roll was delicious. It was pretty much perfect. So Japan, thumbs up. And Mickey Thomas from Starship's performing. So let's go over there and have a look and see what he's gonna sing. Nothing. love this time of day at Epcot when the sun is starting to set and the light just looks so beautiful around World Showcase. But now I'm craving dessert and chocolate in particular. I'm going to try three different chocolate desserts and I'll tell you which I liked best. First let's go back to the vegetarian booth Terra. So this is the chocolate cake. It's chilled. It's got uh, coconut mousse on top and then passion fruit sauce around it. Chocolate cake is nice and it's kind of a mild chocolate and the um, passion fruit is really sweet and fruity tasting. I know there hasn't been really anything that I said I didn't like today, but honestly, it's because I didn't not like anything today. It was all um, delicious. Well, I think I liked it. I almost want to lick the plate. It was that good. Remember that table I was at at Starbucks outside by the fountain earlier today when it was really hot and I said it would probably be much cooler at night? Well, it is much cooler at night, and I'm by the fountain watching uh, the Fountain of Nations show and having a cupcake. I chose one from Disney, not from Starbucks, only because I'm in the mood for something really decadent, and that looks decadent. It's a cappuccino chocolate cupcake. Wow, what a disappointment that cupcake is. The icing is pure sugar, and the chocolate cake is like a supermarket cake. Um, I was expecting something like I got at the Be Our Guest restaurant. The cupcake there was incredible. This is not so good, but I'll eat a little bit of it and then throw the rest out. And for my last dessert, this is the Belgian waffle with warm chocolate ganache and whipped cream. And though it's really delicious and is a perfect pairing with illuminations, 
The chocolate cake from Terra is the clear winner of the three desserts that I tried. Did you know that there are three acts of illuminations? The first represents the creation of Earth through chaos. The second is this part which you're looking at. You can see iconic architecture from around the world, famous people and historical figures who have contributed to life on our planet. And in the third act, the Earth globe opens into a lotus flower, shooting out fireworks from the center, which represents unity and world peace. So now let's sit back and enjoy a bit of illuminations. That's it guys, thanks for coming with me to Epcot Food and Wine Festival, watching Illuminations. Time to go home and go to bed. See you tomorrow for day six.